Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tan, and I want to go ahead and take you for a walk in Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer for the Nintendo 3DS. On the last video, I went ahead and took you around my town and showed you some of the things I've built um, or some of the things that I've helped design. And I took you to Hans's house to see exactly how it looked as a finished product. This time, I want to go ahead and take you through the entire process of creating a home or designing a home. So you will, you go up to everybody and I'll kind of give you a snippet of what they're looking for. Um, there was one character that I visited last time that I was really interested in doing and I bet you they're not there anymore. Since I went to go visit a house, I think they kind of disappeared. Let's see. Okay, I want to do this one. <laughs> Okay. Leave it to me. We're going to go ahead and build him a house uh, sea for seafaring. A shrine to seafaring. Okay. The first thing it's going to let you do is select exactly where you want to build the home. So... Since it's something related to the sea, I kind of like to stick in that environment. So if I wanted to click over here, that's going to show me what it's going to look like before I build it. And you'll see Hans's was in the snow. So there was one area there and one area there. And I went ahead, I think I built it there if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it was here. That's where I selected his. So there's a lot of different areas that you can choose. Um, pretty much anywhere is clickable on here. I haven't built anything out here, I don't believe. Ooh, no, I haven't. I should do that. I like that one. Not for him, anyway, because that won't make too much sense. But um, there's a lot of cute little areas where you can build or have the house built. See? So I'm going to stick with, you know what? Maybe we should do it in the middle of everything. I think that one's perfect. Okay, now the floor plan. Um, it's going to be a one bedroom or we can, or one room, or you could also do a two room home. Um, hmm, I think just for the sake of showing you exactly what it's going to, or what is entailed, I think I'm going to stick with a one room home. And I kind of like this rectangular, rectangular one where the door is at the front. Or do I like this one? Oh, the dilemma. I'll just stick with, ah, uh, let's stick with that one. It's really hard because you don't know what items they're going to give you, so it's kind of hard to pick the um, floor plan ahead of time, and there's no way to go back and change that later. That would have been really nice. So, first things first. Let's start with the way the house is going to look. There's a little clipboard on the bottom right-hand side, and on the outside, you'll see question marks. So normally like when you're inside the house you have to meet that minimum requirement that i was talking about on the last video um to make him happy and in order to progress so on the outside it's pretty much uh free roam do whatever you want but okay the bottom left hand side okay i don't need that let's go with a home very first tab on the upper left hand side you get to pick what you want it to look like. And I kind of like this because it kind of looks like a little hut. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for his little island getaway. And these are the different uh, types of homes that I have unlocked. I don't know if any more will unlock. Not too sure. Okay, you get to pick the colors. And I think I want to stick with something blue ocean kind of colors. Oh, that one's pretty. I don't think I've used that one. And there's different types. You'll see that there's the straw. There's also the metal roof. Um, so different things there. I think I'm going to stick with the first. The first one I found. That one. The teal tiled roof. That's kind of a tongue twister. Teal tiled roof. Okay. And let's see, what color do we want the outside? I really like the way it, that, those colors together, but 
I'm trying to see what would best match an ocean setting. What's that one? Aquamarine. I think I might just, eh, I don't really care for that one. And I find myself kind of picking the same ones over and over again just because I like the way they look. Um, what was that? A cabana? If I don't like those colors together. See? So picky. I think this game really does make you picky, though. I'm not going to do stucco. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Just to hurry up and pick one, I'm going to go ahead and go with... Where was it? Not to find it again. Is it this one? Yeah, the aquamarine. Then you get to pick your door. And you can do the arch doors, square doors, metal doors. Um, I think I want to go with something that you can see outside. Not white. Not yellow. Not... See? Getting picky again. Come on, Tom. Just pick one. I don't like this. I think I like... I don't like the colors. Whatever. I'm just going to do white. Now, again, I'm not the best at designing, so you have been warned. Now, you can go ahead and put things outside. I like to normally put, like, a table and some chairs because... Uh, that's what I like outside of my house is to take some coffee out there and just relax Watch the dog run around Usually anyway, those are the things I do like to do um, But I don't really see any those are all the chairs any tables that I would think seem fitting for outdoorsy kind of feel So I just might skip that. Let's see what else is here any little You'll see that underneath the main tabs are some little mini uh, sections that will show you some of the things that can be used. And, hmm, I guess I'll just do this one. See, I always use the same ones. And then I think I'm gonna use this one. Those are things that I like outside. What is that one? A greenhouse box? Hmm. Now, the cool thing is, instead of sitting there and trying to push everything around manually that we um, always do in the older games, you can actually click on it on the bottom touchpad and just move it where you want to move it. And that saves so much time. There you go. I think I like that there. And this one I'll do right here. I'm not too sure if I want to keep this. Let's see. What does it look like? Nah. So if you don't want it, you just pick it up. Throw it away. This too, there's a little toolbox there. And you can change the way it looks. I think I like that green. Oh, I like the blue too. But I think I'm going to go with... And see, you can use a closed fabric. So, um, and QR codes too. But I'm going to go ahead and go with the green. Immediately done. You don't have to wait for Cyrus to do anything crazy. And that one you cannot do anything to. So, we'll leave that alone. And let's see if there's anything else I want to place outside. Um, I could do some palm trees. You could do one where it's, oops, didn't need to pick it up. Where it's barely growing, a small palm tree, or you could do a bigger one. Ooh, this one's new. I'll put this one. And I'm going to put him in the back right here. Let's see, what else do we have here? There's some bushes, there's some flowers, and there's a new little tree stump palm tree stump. Do I want it there? Can you sit on it? Yeah, you can. I'll put that there for my feet. I'll leave that there. That's fine. And I'm not going to really do flowers because you don't really see flowers in the sand. But what would have been cool that I noticed that they don't have um, are seashells. I don't understand why that isn't available. And that's where you can make your own designs right there. But I'm not going to focus on that right now. And I'm going to leave the outside as is. And let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. And since this is a one room, um, he already has stuff that he brought with him. So we're only going to have to focus on the one room. 
Whenever it's something that matches the idea or the vision that the client has, has they're going to start clapping, you'll see hearts, so you'll kind of see when you're making them happy as you go. So now when you pick the house, while you're on the inside, you get to take a look at the different wallpapers that are available. So this one's new, obviously that's going to match what he's looking for. Now for the flooring, let's see, whichever one says new, yep, that's what he's looking for. Now, there's also windows. Now, since it's supposed to be an outdoor vibe, I'm gonna go ahead and take the windows off, but there's different area, areas, or windows, kind of settings and how they look. But, again, this is supposed to be outdoorsy. I'm gonna take that off. You could also normally pick the kind of curtains as well. And if you see this, that shows the sounds that you'll hear. Since this is an ocean setting, we can do this one an underwater water setting. There's beach sounds, rain, wilderness. So there's different sounds uh, for different types of homes that you can have, or you can leave them off altogether. And it'll just play like their normal song. There's also one that echoes, and you'll see when you talk to them, it'll echo. The ringing, I haven't really messed with that, but I'm not too sure about the beach sounds. I think I'm gonna stick with the underwater until I find out what exactly I can use. So this clip, uh, the clipboard is gonna tell me a life ring. That's all he wants is a life ring. So we've got it nailed. I could actually finish this house if I wanted to, but since it's your client and these are kind of, you're building your database, you kind of like wanna work on it more. Just that's just how it is. Um, a tropical rug. I don't know how that would even work on a water setting, but yeah, um, hmm, I'm gonna throw that away for now, see what else there is, and normally you just go through and see what's new, and I don't think he's really, there's gonna be much new for him, because it's an underwater sort of theme, I'm not seeing anything, hmm, Interesting. I thought his was going to have a lot of things that opened up for me because then you can use those for all of the um, houses that you work on after his, but nothing's really opening up. It was just the, the lifeboat and the wallpaper and the flooring, which is kind of boring. I really thought his would be exciting. What a letdown. Okay, so nothing new. Oh, but well, we already have one. I'll do it, throw another one in there for a friend, I guess. Oh, wait, there's new. There's a boat. So, hmm. Okay, I guess this is what I'm going to do because I'm not just going to leave it as water. I'm going to get a couple of things here that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to make it into a bedroom. So it's going to, the flooring is going to be what the flooring looks like. It's not really going to be an underwater setting. Um, I'm going to take it for what it is and actually be a house that looks like it's underwater. And I don't think anything really is going to, there's that one, but the music, but I have the sounds that I want. Oh, you know what though? The fish would be good to use here. I mean, it puts them in in little cages, but I think that would be a good decoration. So that one's a good one. Ooh, I like that one. Okay. I might go ahead and use something else. What else? What else? See, I like these, but they're in this really small little aquarium. I don't know. The cool thing is, is that you can just kind of throw things out and see how they look, see if you like them. And if you don't, you can just delete them, no big deal. I'll probably do a shark. And on the shark, let's see, I think, you know, I really love this stingray, let me see. I love this stingray, okay, on a shark. Okay, so I'll just kind of decide from there. Um, I think I'm gonna delete that one. Right there. I'm going to put all of these guys in one area for now until I decide how I'm going to do this. 
Let's see if there's anything else I'm remotely interested in adding. There's also normally a home, I'm sorry, a picture for them of themselves that you could put in their home too, and it usually makes them happy. See, there we go, he'll be happy. Which is really weird, picture of himself makes him happy, but that's okay. Now the clothes, I haven't really found a purpose for them. Be, I mean, you're normally just displaying them. It's not that like you can wear them or anything. So I really don't care to display them in the house. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but it just really doesn't do anything for me. I was gonna say it doesn't really float my boat, but you know, I'm really bad with puns, so we'll pretend I didn't say that. Okay, so going back to the regular house items, I'm not gonna do a bed. I think I'm just gonna do kind of like a living room setting. And let's see, what can we put in here that looks nice? I think for the tables, I'm just gonna use this basic one because it matches the fish and whatnot. And I'm going to do one for this and one for his boat. Another cool thing is, is that if you want to turn the table around, um, instead of having to pick it up, you just touch it. Touch that there, and then you pull this here. You want to turn that around, you can do that. Put it facing that way so you can kind of see it. Now you can have them facing the same way, or I don't know, I'm not good at this, so I'm just gonna do it that way. And I'm gonna put another table, same one, and this too, you can go in there and change the colors. But I'm gonna leave it at black. Oh wow, that looks kind of cool actually. But I'm gonna leave it at black. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of them. Those are kind of cool. And I'm going to put his picture. Let's move over here so you can see what I'm doing. Turn it around, and I'm gonna put you on top of here too. So I just wanna do something basic for this house. Let's see here. Put this here, and then let's get into a couch. Maybe even a chair. And I think I kind of like, or wait, let's see. This one goes, I think, yeah, that one kind of goes. Striped sofa, and I think I'm even gonna leave that blue. Let's see what colors they have. Orange, green, I think there's also, yeah, pink, yellow. Hmm, I might just go with the yellow or the gray. Let me try that. Yeah, the yellow kind of brings a little bit of pop into it. And I'll leave these kind of scattered. Let's see, what else can we add? We can probably add even a little um, table next to the couch. Let's see, what else, what else? I don't really care to add, um, I don't know. Okay, let's go to the yellow. And we're gonna put this right here. You know what, was there red? If there's red, that might make a little bit more sense. No, there's not. Okay, never mind. Let me see what else they have here that's gonna kinda sorta go. Oh, that's one thing I need to show you guys, is uh, the ceiling fixtures. Mm, oh, you know what, we could do this one. Let's put some trophies right here. There we go. We can probably put two of them. Got a silver one too. Cool, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna kinda keep it really basic. Let me see if there's little, any end tables that might go. Those are all the long ones. Mm. Nope, I don't see any end tables I really care for. Hmm. 
And let's see how we can make that look different. There's a moss green, gray, brown, ivory. I don't think I'm really going to care for that. Let's see here. Well, not bad. Whatever. I'll just use it. And then I'm going to add a little normal things that you would see on a little end table here. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think it'd be really crazy if I put this on here. That's going to be a plate of food where these poor fish died, but that goes. Um, okay, so for ceilings, you go to this little bulletin looking thing, and that's anything that can be put on the wall is going to be there, and anything that goes on the ceiling as well. And I think that's it. There's, oh, this one would go. I don't, I don't know. Let's see. You can move that around real easy, too. I love that. Eh, I don't care for it. And I really don't care for these displaying the clothes. And you'll see why. It just doesn't really do anything crazy. I think it just looks awkward. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I don't care how that looks on my walls. Okay. So let's go into the ceiling fixtures and there's nothing new that has opened up. It's been the same ones for quite a while now. Um, but I think I'm going to do some greenery because, oh no, the bird, that goes well. I love that. Okay. And you can get this and move it around too. I think I might do a couple of those. What's funny is that this is actually turning out to be better than I thought it was going to turn out. And you could turn them around. You can have them um, facing each other or kind of going in the same direction. I think I kind of like those. I might put one more because I like to overdo things, you know. Wouldn't be me if I didn't overdo it. And I think I like this. I think I'm satisfied with the way this turned out. Surprisingly, with only a couple of things made available to me that were new, I am satisfied. Now, with, before I start overdoing it, I'm going to stop and talk to him now. And normally, you hit your checkboard and make sure you met everything, but I know we did because it was only one thing he required. So, I am all finished. Now he's going to go ahead and take a look around his house. You can take a snapshot and that's going to go into your client book. Um, that will remind you, oh, okay, Dell wanted that kind of seafarer motif and you'll know when you go visit him. Okay, yeah, that's the one I want to redo or I want to add to or just completely change up. There, I'll take that picture. You just hit the little camera on the bottom screen and that takes the picture for you. I don't want a picture of him sleep. I like his house. I'm, I'm surprised. Okay. Got one of him waving. And I will stop or else I'll go crazy. I have on Animal Crossing alone, I don't know how many screenshots I took. And I'm the same way with this game too. Now, that's pretty much the gist of this game. You really don't have like, hey, look, I collected this, I collected that, that whole um, frenzy, crazy feeling that you get from playing Animal Crossing, like saying New Leaf. It's, he's gonna go to the outside of the house now. Um, it's not like that with this game. It's just designing the house and that's it. So if you're not really into the design part of it, it might not be for an Animal Crossing fan like you, um, which I really wasn't, but I still play it because I'm still waiting for a new Animal Crossing game. Um, but if you love the design part of it, this is, it opens up all the possibilities of just designing. These little prints, that was so cute. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and skip through this. It'll show you a few pictures that you could take from the inside and the outside, and it'll attach that to his name in the client book, and you're all done. And it's gonna take you back to 
um, Nook's homes, to back to your office, and you get a new emotion that you learned. From there, you can go ahead and study the handbook, which I've already studied everything in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a day because you'll notice that it's nighttime. You worked so late, so you write up your daily report and you go home after that. You're not able to use your amiibo phone because it's asleep. You can't really do anything, so pretty much just go to your chair. Um, and normally I study the handbook and then I finish work for today since I opened up everything in the handbook. Just go to finish work and it's just gonna save it and start the day for the next day. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue. And there's a brand new day with more things to do, more clients waiting outside, or if you wanna build in the town. That's when you get to decide what you wanna do from there. So. That was it. Um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If there's, uh, if you want to see me do another video of another client's house, leave it in the comment section below. If you want to see me build one of the um, structures or facilities that Isabel has to offer, let me know in the comments as well. Any questions you have, let us know. We'll be more than happy to answer them for you. And until next time, keep gaming.